Ooh, what's up guys, of course, welcome to another Pokemon Wi-Fi battle with yours truly, of course, this character. And today we're going up against Caddy, known as Caddy Cool on YouTube. And I'm going to leave a link on his channel down below. This guy is one of those players that I really, really enjoy watching. He's very, very aware of his teams that they are, well, not meta material. But he usually prevails in the higher tiers with these kinds of teams and you know it's always fun seeing you know his thought process he's usually just outsmart his opponents which makes for really really interesting matches um he's using a very bulky team they induced it against shady penguin among others a uh, very very powerful and a very very good synergy overall uh with crustle gramble mantine stunfisk executor and pure regular so i have some kind of idea on you know what kind of team this is I myself is using actually quite a powerful team with a lot of not bulk. Yes, I said not bulk. It's not healthy at all, you know, watching your career. The only defensive wall I have is Torchera. I'm using Martin, Flareon, Sangus, Mighty Yena, and Lilligant. Lilligant is some of the special defensive wall. I think Flareon carries itself like that too. But other than that, I have nothing that can take physical hits. So, Crustle, Gramble, Pure Ugly and uh, potentially Stunfisk could be dangerous for my team and uh, my mod team is a physical set with tinted lens and uh, well physical uh, so it has giga impact u turn so I'm basically gonna start off with that and try to find a footing you know getting a feel of my opponent and see if we know we can get into the battle with that in mind so yeah let's do this so like I said, start off here, I really just want my mod team, which is Scarfed, and I knew it could even outspeed a potential pure ugly lead. And of course it's gonna start with a pure ugly. Now I do have some idea that this thing is focus sashed, but I did not predict the fake out. I was kinda hoping it would U-turn directly. He did not do that. I'm gonna U-turn myself, and uh, basically here, um, I do around 50% on this, which was awesome. Very, very necessary. I decided here to go to my mighty Yena, not predicting that he might as well go for a U-turn. So yeah, that's kind of bad. I mean, the trade-off for HP is really close, pretty much the same. And um, he's gonna go to his Lassie, and Lassie of course is the Gramble. And being the Gramble came on in here, I was feeling that he probably is defensive set and he can't take me out just by that alone. So I decided to switch out. And bring my Torterra basically. Like I said, it is defensive set Grimlock. And uh, he's gonna go for a play rough. And that's banded damage. That is banded damage indeed. Well, I do. I am without speeder gonna go for a wood hammer taking him out. That is still really bad because now I don't have any defensive wall left. I don't. And the Crustle can come in freely and sweep me in worst case scenario. So I gotta go back to Wolf because I knew that I would speed. And I was thinking that, you know, that is probably my safest bet, really. So I think I decided I had to go for a Facade. Because Facade is actually stronger than uh, a Stab, Crunch, or Sucker Punch. So, while it does, you know, a good chunk, it still is far from enough. And uh, I've predicted him here to set up Stealth Rocks. I was thinking that Sangus can come in, you know, getting that Toxic Orb effect to go in. Which means I could probably be st start really poking holes in his team. Sangos is fast enough to kinda, um, how do you say it, it's fast enough to do the poking well because he doesn't have a lot of fast Pokemon besides the pure ugly so I was thinking I could probably outspeed the most of the, you know, the oppression here so he's gonna go to his last to pretty much sack and get intimidation off uh, super important from his side of course and the facade does, yeah, like I said, it's gonna kill, it's a freaking toxic boost at Sangos it's just you don't stop that, you can't, it's not possible. So anyway, Mrs. Norris is gonna come in here and do... Um, I myself is in the same type of position, I have to sack a dog. And I'm gonna sack, of course, Wolf or the Mighty Anna. Because, well, even if Toxic Feet or not, Quick Feet does help, it is still not helpful enough to um, really, really do like a significant amount of changes in this battle. So I decided to sack him. Then bring back Hulk, hoping that it isn't faster than me, so I can take it out. Uh, of course, it is faster than me. I have no idea what I was thinking, and boom, Sagris damage. But that's alright, we're fine. We can still do this. It is still not over. Um, he's gonna bring his pancakes. Pretty much second it actually. 
And I was also gonna go for like I said the facade. And then like I said, toxic boost, you just you can't stop it. It's it's not possible. You just you do damage and something instead. So now again he's gonna bring his Mrs. Norris and uh, I was predicting here to not go for the fake out, predicting my switch out. So I decided here to actually go for a quick attack and uh, yeah, I definitely predicted right here and of course I'll take out Mrs. Norris. That was actually kind of important. Had he gone for a fake out, he would probably take me out considered the amount of toxic damage there. Or rather, I'm sure of it. So anyway, Crustle's gonna come here. And uh, basically, I'm forced to go for a close combat. And uh, I don't think he wanted to risk the potential of me switching out to something else. Just want to go for damage, of course. So yeah, Exodus of course will take me out and Sangus is gone and that's that's bad. But anyway, I'm gonna bring the Moth in, which of course, with the Stealth Rising Bond, is basically close to killing it. Like I said, I have Giga Impact, and I'm gonna use it with Tinted Lens, he should be able to take it out from this range. And, uh, motherfucker, <laughs> no! It lives, and he gets a free Shell Smash, and that's terrible! And of course, you know, I'm being one turn off recharging. My opponent actually goes for uh, the kill anyway, consider that he knew that he now will outspeed the rest of my team. And I only got Lilligant and Flareon left, and none of them is really able to take a hit from this guy. But uh, yeah, that's that's really bad, and I was banking on Meltdown, the Flareon, to, uh, well, utilize his quick attack and hoping that it is strong enough to kill it from this range, and of course it is, because he's shell smashed. And that could have been terrible had he pulled a sweep with that Crustle. I've seen uh, my opponent done that before with that Crustle, so I am terrified from that. So anyway, he's gonna bring the Lumen, and it's basically gonna come down to whether or not Lumen can take a Versailles or not. And it is not able to. And his last Pokemon, of course, is the Executor. And uh, it has no way of outspeeding my Meltdown. And uh, besides that, I do pack the Flare Blitz. So, uh, yeah, that is basically the game, guys. It's a very, very short battle. It's definitely showing, you know, uh, just offenses against offenses and whether or not you can keep up. I lost my team really fast but once you know I got the momentum with Sangus and Flareon the bowl kinda got started and I came out on top and uh, yeah also really just have it said this was like I said a 16 turn <laughs> battle so it really shows you know like I said my team was not defensive whatsoever I couldn't wall any of his Pokemon basically and it came down to whether or not I could hurt him enough to kind of like survive, I know I was gonna lose no matter what in worst case scenario. But we do pull through here and I guess with a bit of luck with the tinted lens and all against the Crustle, things kind of worked itself out, you know, I got enough damage on it, I was so surprised that I didn't do more damage with this, of course, close combat. Looking back at it, probably should have gone for a knockoff, but uh, I just wanted as much damage as possible and that was my response to it. Um, Crossroads is just such a good Pokemon in general and always impresses in this year and Caddy of course, my opponent, just, uh, just as much really, really impressive player and uh, you guys should definitely check him out. Uh, so I want to thank you guys for watching as well as of course, make sure to leave a like if you like this battle and you know, leave a comment, I, I love reading those. And yeah, remember guys, this guy is limited and I'll see you guys tomorrow, take care, bye.